Hey everybody, it is November 2018 and I thought I would come over to Bear Creek Park in Houston to get some walking in. I knew it was a little cold outside and it had been raining the last couple of days but I thought it would be okay to come walking but it is really wet and is actually kind of cold for Houston standards out here because of the humidity. It is 50, 54 degrees outside right now, but it feels a lot colder than that. So I thought I would drive around the park a little bit. That way, those of you who have never been to Bear Creek Park can see what their picnic areas have. And should you want to come over here and have a picnic sometime, uh, you'll know what it looks like um, prior to, to coming over. They have a lot of parking spaces um, to pull in and park. They have a lot of picnic areas and places to run around uh, and play in the woods. Uh, they do have restrooms all throughout uh, the park like right here and a lot of picnic tables and um, they do have some pavilions which we'll see up here <coughs> that white dome looking thing up here that is one of the pavilions that you can reserve uh, you just have to go by the Bear Creek office park uh, Bear Creek Park office and they will uh, allow you to reserve the, the space I think you um, at least what they did years ago when we used to reserve them for the the group that I uh, have been volunteering for was you would put a deposit down uh, at that point in time by check and um, I don't know how they do it now because it's been 15 years but at that point you would put a check down and uh, they would not deposit it at that point it was two hundred and fifty dollars but uh, they would not deposit it they'd hold on to it and as long as you left the pavilion in uh, a really good shape you know the, the same way you found it then you would get your check mailed back to you and uh, we would have our organization picnics out here at the park in these pavilions. Each of the pavilions comes with a uh, barbecue pit and uh, there's some electrical outlets. I'll go ahead and park here and we'll walk up to this pavilion so that you can see what the pavilions offer. It is pretty cold out here because of the humidity, so we won't stay out here for very long. <laughs> they have a really big pavilion here somewhere. And I'll see if we can find it and uh, go over to it if there's no one there. So there's a sign at each of these pavilions. Come up to it. I don't know if you saw when I was driving by earlier, but there is a playground back in the distance over there. And there's a swing set over here, which you're right by a restroom. So 
So inside the pavilion here, they do have a, a light up in here. Provides some good co um, shade coverage. And they, they each have a couple of trash cans and several picnic tables. I know at least for the big pavilions, because I've rented one of the big pavilions before, one of them, there's three here, I wanted to show you the one that's, I think it's over there, um, yeah, over here, um, I haven't rented that one before, I've rented one of the others before, they don't want you to use, um, charcoal, they want you to use real wood in the barbecue pits. And then up against this wall over here, is a light switch. I'm not seeing any plugs at this one. There is a, a water hookup right here. Maybe it's the big ones that have the electrical plugs instead of just the small ones. Because I, I don't see any electrical plugs in here at all. Oh, <laughs> I missed it. On the same wall as the light switch, down there at the very bottom. Down here at the very bottom is a plug. regular sized pavilions. I will start recording again here in a minute after we get back in the car and get moving over to that big one. Bear Creek Park used to have a 36 hole, I believe a 36 hole golf course. Or two golf courses, two 18 hole golf courses I believe. But um, Bear Creek Park is located inside of the Attic's Reservoir. And so whenever there's heavy rainfall, this whole area floods. Unfortunately, in August, September of 2017, Hurricane Harvey came through Texas. And this whole area had four to five sometimes six feet of water in this area right here and so this whole golf course was flooded out and they have decided not to maintain it or keep it uh, working it was just too expensive to try to fix everything that was under you know six feet of water for um, you know two or three months after that because like I said it is a reservoir here which is why they don't allow too many buildings or houses in this in this immediate area this here is one of the big pavilions this is the biggest of the pavilions and um, I'm not gonna get out and walk around because there is a constable here and it looks like they've got some People doing some work but they do have a smokehouse here and then um, a restaurant a restroom that's dedicated just to this pavilion and um, there's a wall in the back where you can 
project movies or whatever you want in it and I believe there's a stage in there too but it does come with a smokehouse and um, a bigger outdoor uh, barbecue pit and it's just a really neat area to be able to reserve and, and use. Um, I was planning on sitting out and doing some recording of some other videos outside at this park but because uh, it is so cold outside and windy and kind of wet I'm gonna find a really nice parking spot and do some recording uh, in my car here at the park there is a uh, there is an equestrian center, I believe, here. That, well, there's a road right up there where that dirt pile is. Um, right up there. Uh, where it says equestrian center. I think it's really just a place for you to park your truck and trailer while you go riding horses. Uh, we'll drive in there real quick and then I'll go find a, a place to park. On the other end of this park... There is the, the area that I'm driving through now is just the picnic area. There is another side to this park where they um, have soccer fields and baseball diamonds, and there's a little zoo type area over there as well, plus a veterans memorial area. And um, it's it's basically two different parks in one. And there are a lot of the area junior soccer leagues and baseball leagues will come out here to play on the weekends. So this area gets really packed on the weekends. During the summer, a lot of people um, are out here playing soccer and all that kind of good stuff. So. Here is the Bear Creek Park Equestrian and Nature Trails. So it looks like you can walk in through there and I guess there's some trails through here that you can ride your horse in. Let's go find us a place to park and do some videos. One, one last thing before we find a place to park. We drove around that big pavilion with the smokehouse a few minutes ago and I told you there were two other ones here that are big that, that I've actually reserved and used before and those are pavilions seven and eight so if you get an opportunity and you have a large group of people that you'd like to be able to use a, a bigger smoker with seven and eight are off by themselves back in a different area of the park so they might be an option for you as well if you don't want to be out here in the middle of everything with everybody but just wanted to show you what the pavilion numbers were for the other two big ones. Thank you guys for watching this video as I drove around this part of Bear Creek Park. And uh, if you're ever in the Houston area, then um, come check it out. By the way, you see these uh, rings on this white pole here? That's how high the water got during Hurricane Harvey. So it, it did get pretty, pretty high up in here. They just haven't washed that part off yet. Y'all have a y'all have a great day, and thank you again for uh, watching this video. Thank you.